Yep. Good afternoon, everyone. Today, approximately 2.31 this afternoon, Westminster Police received 911 calls of a single vehicle crash in the area of 103rd and Wadsworth Parkway. When officers responded, additional calls came in that the driver of that vehicle had fled on foot westbound on 104th Avenue. There was an officer in the area who contacted that person who matched the description that of the driver. Now again, this is just on the north side of Stanley Lake High School. Being a Sunday, there were students inside the high school they were participating in band activities. Another officer went over to the school and asked those children to remain inside the school. When the officer questioned the person who was walking along the drainage ditch, the person stood up and fired around at our officer. Our officer retain, uh, uh, returned gunfire and then lost sight of the suspect. He waited for additional officers to arrive. When additional officers arrived, they contacted the suspect in the bushes. At that time, the suspect was unconscious. Officers immediately rendered life-saving measures until medical personnel arrived. Medical personnel arrived and transported that uh, suspect to an unknown local hospital. Once at the hospital, that suspect was pronounced deceased. Officers ensured that all the students inside the high school were safe and that they remained inside the school. This shooting was no way involved with the high school. This was a single officer who returned gunfire and this officer involved shooting will be investigated by the 17th Judicial Critical Incident Response Team in cooperation with the 1st Judicial Critical Incident Response Team. What questions can I answer? We received information after the fact that the vehicle was possibly stolen. Was there anyone else in the car? We do not receive any reports that anyone else was in the vehicle. And again, all this information that I'm providing you is preliminary information. This is information that we obtained uh, when we arrived on scene talking with a few of the officers involved. Do you know what caused that vehicle to crash in the first place? We do not. All we, uh, when we arrived, the call, the initial call that we got was a single vehicle crash and the vehicle had gone in the ditch on its side. So that's that one right up there? Correct. So did the shooting occur where those four cars are right now? If you look behind me and you look to the south, you'll see a drainage ditch from the sidewalk to the hill. The shooting actually occurred right to the south of those police vehicles in the ditch. Can you talk a bit about the procedure on the tactics? We talked to neighbors who said that they saw police kind of in a line approaching. What was the you know safety measures that were that police were using and how did they approach the suspect? So any any time we approach any person who's armed and dangerous, we separate and we approach very cautiously. It was unknown at that time if the suspect was hit or he wasn't. We want to ensure the safety of the suspect and ourselves. Was a weapon recovered? At this point, I do not have that information. Was the officer who returned fire injured? The officer was not injured. He's doing well and he is currently at our police department. Does it 
Yes, uh, I'll explain that. As you well know, Westminster falls in between Adams County and Jefferson County. To remain continuity, we have aligned with the Adams County, the 17th Judicial District, uh, to uh, conduct all our officer-involved shooting investigations. However, the incident happened in Jefferson County, the 1st Judicial District. Though uh, people from the 1st Judicial District will be involved as well. Um, were neighbors in the area ever told to stay inside, or was the area put on lockdown? This happened very fast. When the officer arrived and contacted the suspect, things happened immediately. Um, I do not have that information right now. Again, everything I have right now is preliminary. Um, I'll follow up with those questions and get those answers to you. Did, is there, this isn't a neighborhood, I mean, is everyone in this neighborhood safe right now? Everyone in the neighborhood is safe. There is no current danger to anybody in the neighborhood. We know that there was only one suspect in the vehicle and that suspect has been contacted. Do you need an age of the suspect? We do not. Ooh. I do not have the age uh, at this time. Male? Yes, it was a male. I can't confirm it was a male. No, no reason to think that uh, classes would be disrupted tomorrow. This would be done by then. Um, most likely this investigation will be done uh, by, by the morning time when the school starts. But if it goes beyond that, um, we'll be in contact with the school district to let them know. So just uh, just because that crash was up there, was there a pursuit on foot at some point, like across the these fields? How did they, how did it end up over here? Well, the officer was on driving on 104th and the officer saw the suspect down in the ditch walking west. That's when he got out of his vehicle and contacted him. Again, that is all the preliminary information we have at this time. Is there any other questions? Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you.